Hi, Pete Scargill here with the Argon One case for the Raspberry Pi 4. I picked this up from AliExpress, but you can get it probably from eBay. It's a very nice box. It has screws, circuit board, everything you need. The box allows you to bring out all of the connections of the Raspberry Pi in one place. And there it is. circuit board inside, fan inside which incidentally is controlled by software there's the little circuit board I'm going to fasten that to the Raspberry Pi and then screw the whole lot into the case it actually takes a lot longer to demonstrate than do The case comes complete with full instructions and the screws. All you need is a little time. There are four pads for underneath and four screws to hold the base on. The instruction booklet tells you exactly what to do. Very easy to follow. There are only two different sizes of screw, so it's pretty hard to get it wrong. And there the bottom is now going onto the case. Stick the pads on, four screws, and I'm done. And there it is, the case is lovely. Magnetic cover for the edge connector. Comes off easily. There's the connector and a nice labelling system. See if you're looking up the pins on the Pi. Very easy to use. And there are all your connections at one end. At least it would have been that way had they given you the option to have the Raspberry Pi default to power up when you turn it on. It defaults to off, which is a bit of a problem. Anyway. There's the booklet. There's a, a driver which you just download off the web to set up the fan. You can have multiple fan speeds at different temperatures if you want. You don't have to. And there is the finished job. Kind of. The Raspberry Pi 4 is running off USB. No problem at all. But of course I had to press the on off button to get it to do that. There I'm installing the drivers. And it was just about at that point when everything was going smoothly that I realized I was going to have to hack the box to get a power lead in there that would let the unit start up with the power on, as I've always done with the Raspberry Pi. However, that just took a couple of minutes to do. There's the hack. I had to take a little piece off the edge of the circuit board to get my USB-C connector onto the Raspberry Pi 4 and a little hack into the side of the case. It's a bit unfortunate, I would have preferred not to do that, but there it is, done. I've even got a short lead on for my OLED display. Finished. Hope you uh, found this useful, and a bit more realistic than some of the glowing reviews this, this unit has had. It's good, but it's not perfect.